Happy Monday. Happy Monday from Utah. From Utah. Odin, o Ogden, north We're of north Ogden. north of Ogden, yeah. yeah. Well, we didn't get to pick up our, our load today. If you saw our last vlog, we have a load lined up. It was scheduled to pick up for tomorrow, but the agent thought we might be able to pick it up today. But no, it wasn't ready. So the pickup's tomorrow. So we'll talk about that tomorrow which for you won't be very long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Give, give it just through the next uh, B-roll clip. <laughs> yeah. We're at a Love's truck stop up here off the I, is this I-15? I-15. Yeah. Oh, and yesterday on when we were still deadheading up here, we stopped in Salt Lake and met Provo. one of- It was in was Provo. It Provo. Yeah, just south of Salt Lake. Oh, okay. I was, at I don't a know why Trader I was Joe's. That. No, no, no. Oh. We stopped to see Tito. Oh, yeah, yeah, in Salt Lake. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I thought you were talking about the people that messaged you on Instagram. <laughs> no. Yeah, we did get to see Tito. It met was so him nice and his meeting wife. you and your wife. Yes, yeah, hopefully yeah. you're watching. But yeah, We stopped in there like for 15 minutes, got to chat with them, take yeah, a picture. Yeah, so awesome meeting them. Yeah. He's, been, he's been watching us for a long time. We also had somebody message you on Instagram. Yeah, because after we left, was it, it was before we there. Were we're in Provo. Yes. It was before going to Salt Lake. Yes. We were in Provo. We stopped at a Trader Joe's to pick up some grub and some stuff so we can cook some food, keep cooking on the truck. Yeah, and keep the truck stocked. Yep. I got a DM on Instagram that one of the, one, uh, two DMs, but two. I think I think it was the, the dad and then the sons maybe that, that did it. I think they were related. Oh, really? Oh, <laughs> but, okay. Yeah, another viewer like, that's wow, been following us. Yeah, they've been following us for a while. They said, we seen your truck in, in at the Trader Joe's in Provo or wherever, whatever city it was. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh my gosh. But yeah, that was really cool too. Yeah. I'm like, golly, so many people are recognizing us everywhere <laughs> we go. It's crazy. We're famous. <laughs> we're not famous. No. 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 <laughs> I don't want to be famous. No. I do not like no. being famous. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. We we get shy and we get embarrassed. We're like, oh, hey. <laughs> we're just two crazy people with chihuahuas. Right. <laughs> Who's texting me? Who's texting you, Texan? Shut that, mm. shut that but down real quick. At that Trader Joe's, that's the first place we've had to stand in a line to get in it somewhere was. since all this has been going on. Yeah, it was. It we went had... pretty quick. And but... it started raining. It did start raining, but, but they had umbrellas. They had umbrellas. Yeah, they that was brought nice. brought umbrellas. They had like a bunch over there. Anybody want an umbrella? I'm like, yeah, me. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense though, I guess, at Trader Joe's because it, it, most Trader Joe's are pretty small, yeah. so they're oh, trying they to are. limit the amount of people. So as yeah. people would come out, they'd let other people in. Yeah, and yeah. I'm two sure people a lot came of out. Two people came in. One person come out. You had to wait for another person to come out for two people to go in. <laughs> well, you didn't have to, but that's how. You don't want to go in this. What was that noise? I don't know. Hear? Somebody. Oh, I thought it was a brakes. seat. It sounded like the air was going. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's outside. But it's not like one of us would go in and then I'd wait outside for somebody yeah, else no. to come back out. So. No. But yeah, that was the first place we had to do that at. Yeah, so. but we got stocked back at. We weren't getting low, low, but there no. was a few things like Just fresh veggies things. and things we More needed. More fillets. I have a long-standing uh, competition with uh, somebody that my Whole Foods <laughs> filet mignons are better than his Costco ones. Yeah. But I have recently tr started trying Trader Joe filet oh. mignons. They've been good. Whoa. Mm, Whoa. They're really good. They, Is that what we grilled when we were at the RV park? At the RV time? park, those yeah. Those were Trader Joe ones? Yeah, those okay. were Trader yeah, Joe's Yeah, those were ones. really good. But I, it Whoa. makes a difference, though, too. I think grilling them versus them is on the pan. But they do. They I, do. We need, I've been wanting to get a cast iron skillet for the truck to use with the induction cooktop for a while. I wonder yeah. how they would taste cooking on the cast iron. Yeah, it's like, I don't think that gets a hot enough, though. You don't think? No, it only gets up to 400 degrees, and yeah. to be able to use cast iron with steak, I think you need, like, uh, six, mm. 700 degrees. Oh, like, gosh, that much? Yeah. Well, that's how, what you want to cook. It, you want to cook a steak, like, really hot, so it sears the outsides really fast, and then you stick it in the oven, and you cook it. I gotcha. Um, but... Yeah, this little thing, 400 degrees, ain't nothing. He's the grill master. I don't know. <laughs> he's the, but you can he's get a grill. A lot, of, a lot of people recommended uh, with our charcoal last week. 
about you a uh, bunch of tips on how to get it going yeah. and i actually bust out the, <laughs> my will my will milwaukee blower that i use for cleaning out the back i started just pumping that with uh, the uh the charcoal with that thing and it, it got, worked whoosh it worked yeah it blew it up it, it sure it, did. and cooked the steaks perfect after that it so. really did yeah. yeah yeah it's funny i've used that thing for more fires than i have actually cleaned in the I back know, of the truck we have yeah we camping, use it at a campfire campfire we're, yeah, and started yeah <laughs> all right Oh, hey, it's coming in handy. We're using it. That's all that matters, <laughs> That's right? All that Who matters. says what you got to use get, it for as long get, as you're using it? Get my two hundred dollars worth. That's right. That's right. <laughs> but yeah, it's the end of the day. It it's is. Uh, gosh, it's almost eight o'clock here. We pick up in the morning, which you will find all about that in the next clip. Like I said, yeah. it won't. It won't take long for you to wait. You don't have to wait long. Not like you have to wait for the next vlog, right? We are going outside the box on this one. We are. Yeah, so stay tuned and you'll find out all about it. Cool. How's it, Kelsey? Ah, so good. <laughs> <laughs> I love my coffee. Yeah. Well, happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. We are loaded. We are loaded and we are excited to tell you about this load yeah this is this is a pretty fun yeah it, it's uh, I don't, yeah it's gonna be fun <laughs> if you've seen our last vlog we alluded to it's, it's kind of a different load this is something we have not done in probably seven years yeah six years we, we six years. okay well let's tell you about it okay we picked up in uh utah utah and just... we are heading to Da, 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 da. Canada! Oh, Canada! <laughs> We're heading to... Canadians, don't get mad if I messed up that song. If that's how it goes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're heading uh, up by Winnipeg. Yeah, and Manitoba. 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 Trucker yeah. Josh uh, territory, I think, isn't it, it? Is it? I don't know. I think so. I forget. I, was, <laughs> I thought he was from Ontario. I don't know. Well, he's a, he's Canadian. He's Canadian. But there's sections of Canadians. Like, the Canada. Western Canadians yeah. don't like uh, Eastern Canadians. Oh, is that true? Is that true? Y'all Canadians will have to let us know I, that. I thought I heard that somewhere. We've never been to Manitoba. East Can Canada is, they're more like French Oh, Where, French Canadian. Yeah, and, and then I don't well, know. Maybe, maybe not. I, yeah, when we're talking out our butts, <laughs> we don't know. We don't when know. we uh, when we first got out here and we were with uh, Panther, we did Canada loads for about for the first year, and but then all we ever did was go to Ontario. Right. We only we, went. That to That was the only part we ever went to in Canada when we were doing Canada loads, and yeah. it was usually. 90% of the time went to Toronto or mm -hmm. Toronto area, you know? Yeah. So this is different for us. It is. Yeah. We're not going far into, because Winnipeg's not that far. I think it's like two hours from the border. Yeah. It's not yeah. far into yeah. Canada. Yeah. But it's exciting because we haven't been there, like I said, in six years. Yeah. And we got this. So, so it's it's um, five pieces at uh, almost 3,900 pounds. We picked it up. Gosh, it took us four and a half hours there to get loaded because of course they didn't have the paperwork together because with Canada crossing the border it's a lot more paperwork. We're still waiting on everything so I think we can we're get gonna have cleared problems. to cross the border. I think we're going to have problems getting across. You think? Uh, ah, we're, I'm we're, thinking I think, positive. I, <laughs> I think we're going to have problems. I'm preparing myself for the frustration. Now if I prepare myself and everything goes good then we're we're all good. Yeah. So I need to prepare myself to be mad or not be mad. So then when things go wrong, I'm not mad <laughs> as mad. But then if it goes good, then we're good. That's, but, that's one of the reasons we stopped doing Canada several years yeah, back because yeah. it was just so much of a hassle getting in. Coming back in was a hassle to the U.S. Yeah, you're treated it, like a terrorist. Yeah, it was just a lot. It was just it wasn't worth it to us. But um, this Don't, agent that has those load is one of the agents we just really really like he's a really good agent and, and he does have another love for us lined up after we deliver that yes, one yeah. but we won't be doing that until our next vlog so right this originally this was scheduled to deliver tomorrow but since it took us four and a half hours at the shipper we are not going to make it by the time that they close for receiving there yeah. tomorrow um, especially depending on when we get cleared to cross the border tomorrow and, yeah and what took four and a half hours might you ask 
the paperwork. Paperwork. <laughs> they, it's a hazmat shipment. So they had the, they didn't have the UN number in the proper order or the, the classification that, yeah, of the hazmat. The, yeah. Then we had to pick up half of the shipment at one building, half of the shipment at another building. And they wanted to stick this hazmat load just right on the back of the truck. And they were going to move it forward when we got to the other building. I'm like, well, no, I'm not moving my truck without securing, securing the freight. Yeah, I'm not just driving yeah. around all willy nilly with hazmat it wasn't in the back right of the truck. Close. I mean, it was a little ways to get back to the. About a half a mile, mm -hmm. but I'm not. Hey, hey, but hazmat. Still, hazmat's right, hazmat. As soon as it's on my truck, it needs to be properly secured. I need to be placarded, and yeah. the, the pallets weren't properly labeled. <laughs> yeah, we had to get that fixed. We had to get that fixed, and man. You got to be diligent sometimes when you do hazmat. You, do. you well, really and, have to watch yeah. these places because I they I really think they just get complacent with their job and just yeah. just don't care. Yeah, I know. It's I crazy. was about to ask them if they were union, but I uh, figured that'd be insulting. <laughs> but we, uh, oh, and there was another Landstar team there, a, a oh my cargo gosh. van yeah, team. Yeah, yeah. And oh my god, it was so cool what meeting they, them. Where's and, those things they gave us? I don't. We weren't. We don't yeah, want to mention. Yeah, they gave us masks. Yeah, we don't want to mention your name because we don't know if you want to be mentioned right, on YouTube right. or not. Yeah, but. but it was so cool meeting them. But look it, they, we got at least we got a few masks. Yeah, to get us yeah. by. So that'll be that good to awesome. wear into Canada because I know right now yes. you're required to have a ma something, a face covering, but at least that looks. Yeah professionally yeah, right, covered right. so yeah, we don't look like bandits or like we're rob anybody <laughs> yeah. wearing those yeah yeah right but oh my gosh so yeah we're really excited to go to canada we won't be there long because once well i don't know if we get in there tomorrow we're gonna and we can't we may not have deliver until wednesday now wednesday. or no wait tomorrow's thursday. wednesday tomorrow's thursday. wednesday so yeah oh my so, gosh we'll, we'll see you'll find out tomorrow i guess yeah and we will in see. this vlog you'll find out you'll find out <laughs> yeah we'll see yeah but i've got either way our next load don't pick up till friday so we'll right have plenty and we'll have a little bit of deadhead but Hopefully again well worth goes it smooth with that load yeah oh yeah but hey we gotta do what we gotta do right <sighs> We'll see how it goes getting in and out of Canada. I keep asking myself how we got suckered into doing this load. I, it's funny, too, because I had told Jason, it has been a while back we were talking, I'm like, I don't want to go and do a load to Canada unless we're going to Alaska. Yeah. Not that, not anything against can Canadians or Canada. Oh, don't take that the wrong way. love our Canadian neighbors. It's just when uh, six years ago, like I said, we always had issues and it was just a pain in the booty yeah. getting in and out. There and was times we sat at the border 12 15 hours yeah. because they could not get the paperwork ready. They couldn't get the stuff ready. And we, we get to the border, we call them, hey, can we cross? No, paperwork's not ready yeah. yet. And we'd sit there and wait. And I'm yeah. like, this ain't worth it. Yeah. And, this ain't and worth it for us. Not just only that, but then just the, the workers at the border, the border agents, they were just always rude to us. Coming just back. Not friendly Going at over, all. it was all, they were always really nice. Yeah. It was just, it's like, golly, yeah, I don't do is it. We're dealing with that. <laughs> so we'll see how it is. We'll let we'll you see. guys know we'll how our experience. I know a lot of people go in and out of Canada so yeah, all the time. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. we just stopped here at those rest area to let the babies out real quick and we're going to get back on knock. Oh, it's a uh, 1440 miles loaded i don't think i said that yeah, so absolutely. it is a little bit longer than because we have to take hazmat routing to get in and we got to cross into canada at a certain in north border. dakota yeah so yeah but you'll find out cool. how our adventure goes so stay tuned yeah. to fix that audio and <laughs> editing golly sorry for any of you wearing headphones <laughs>
We are delivered. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we did not think we were going to make it. Well, because yesterday they told us they stopped receiving at three and we're like, there's no way we're going to make three having to cross in the border. But yeah. that was, pr it went really smooth getting across the border. Yeah, it took us about half hour there. Yeah, because we had to go up to the border thing and give them all this stuff. They ask a bunch of questions and we had to go inside and they had to take the paperwork in. Clear our paperwork. And or do something with their paperwork. They like put it down on the counter. <laughs> then you put it down, then he goes and grabs it. Like, what's crazy is none of the border people were wearing masks. No. The guy at the booth where you drive up to, he had he had rubber gloves on, but nobody had masks. No, we had our masks. Mm -hmm. We did have our masks on. Yeah. And we got to our drop-off at, what, 3.30? Like 3.37. 3.37, yeah. Because yeah. our agent called and told him. When we got to the border, we let our agent know, and we were, we'd been keeping him updated on our time when we were going to get here. Yeah. So he was keeping the uh, the drop off informed. So they waited for us. Thank yeah, goodness. Yeah, and yeah. and we, we do have a backup. Got a backup load. We are deadheading for it. Yeah, we are deadheading for it now. Yeah, I just stopped. Uh, I it's my time, and I needed to take a thirty because I wanted to make sure I have plenty of time to get back across the border. We're only like. 90 miles from the border, but and I just wanted to be sure I had plenty of time because who knows how long it may take getting out. Yeah. But we stopped at a little um, gas station here and went in so Jason could get Red Bulls and we just picked up some quick bite to eat because we hadn't ate all day and it's 5.10 already. 5 o'clock and we Golly, hadn't had nothing. I know. I am boo. You're tired. I'm tired. Yeah, I mean, like, okay, so she took over. We we did probably a NASCAR-style driver <laughs> swap. <laughs> I'm feeling, while she's doing pre-trip, we let the dogs out, and boom, we're gone in, yeah. like, 15 minutes. And, so, and then I got to lay down for, like, an hour and a half. And then, of course, when you cross the border, both drivers have to be up. Yeah. So I had to wake up go inside do the whole crossing thing then i got to lay down for another hour and a half mm -hmm. until we get to got to the drop off and i mean i guess i really didn't have to be up at the drop off i would have let you sleep but they didn't have a dock there yeah. and the way it was loaded our pallet jack was behind the freight and yeah. it was like packed in there like tetris -y, so there would have been no way for me they had a pallet jack yeah but I, he's way better with the pallet jack than i am especially the way it was like yeah, staggered in there. Oh, and but yeah. And then, I, I need to fix something on the pallet jack. Cause, on our pallet jack. Yeah, because yeah. that handle that lowers the, the, the pallets, it's when you pull it, it's not dropping down. So yeah. there's like a chain connector piece that I'll have to crawl under there and fix. I can fix it. It's super easy. I just haven't done it <laughs> it's another one of those it's things not, it's, it's not on like, the list yeah it's on the list <laughs> it's, it, of course and then soon as i fix it we won't use it for like a year well and too with stuff like that we hardly ever use the pallet Stop jack them. and we know it needs fixed and it's just one of those things you don't think about it when we're sitting yeah yeah until you have to use it again and we're like oh gosh yeah we need to fix oh, yeah. that we're supposed to fix that I, I, if i don't write it down i'll forget we need to <laughs> i need to write it down on a list yeah but we're gonna go ahead and end this vlog here guys get out of canada today and pick up our next load tomorrow which you'll find out about in the next vlog just right over the border north dakota yeah, so yeah yep all we'll, right we'll catch up with you guys in the next vlog awesome thank you guys as always for watching and subscribing and until our next video peace love and expediting in canada <laughs> <laughs> Three, one, two, three, one, two, three. <laughs>